Oh my goodness, how do we get out of here? Okay, oh, okay, we gotta return. We gotta pay for all those parts too? Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. I definitely am enjoying this series. There's a whole lot going on in this garage. And we actually have one upgrade point. Um, I've been doing a little bit, a couple jobs off screen just to kind of keep stuff moving along because I want to get some upgrades. We did get the path tester and we can use that for testing suspension. Otherwise, we can take it to the track and do testing there, which is pretty nice. So... This one seems pretty cool. Examine three parts when first seeing a car order barnyard junk order auction. And that would be kind of cool, but I don't think that stuff is unlocked yet. And then that's the Ted sh the tread tester. I'm not even sure what we should get yet. And when do we get... This is level five again. So I'm thinking that once we get another one of these... Maybe let's try... We can always reset the skill points so i think i'm gonna try the repair unlock upgrade so at some point we're gonna get level two of stuff and oh wow actually dang it that's level two i want that um i wonder let's go see if the auction junkyard stuff is open so it looks like the barn find is open and looks like we got like a mustang and then a little i don't know escort or something i don't know what that is a tiny little thing this thing looks awesome though look at this can we oh we could sit in it can we oh can we start it can we start it nope can't start it won't start let's get out let's take a look oh it looks like we can uh oh we could search what is okay so we could take this stuff, I guess. All right, so we're, we're just gonna load on up. What else can we search? Okay, we can search this as well. See what is in here. I don't even know what I'm grabbing, but I'm just gonna grab all of it. Look at that little tiny engine, isn't it cute? <sighs> okay, let's, oh sweet, we can, we can search this. More stuff, let's grab it all. All right, so let's, um, yeah, anything more? Nope, nope. Look at that. We got, I want this. That is what I want. Oh, what? Buy car? Oh, you can't just take this stuff. Oh, my goodness. Look at that price. We are quite a ways off from purchasing this car. How much is this one? And that one's not much cheaper. But I guess... Oh my goodness, how do we get out of here? Okay, oh, okay, we gotta return. We gotta pay for all those parts too? What the crap? Well, I guess I'm not really gonna buy anything on this barn found. I thought it would be, uh, be like Forza Horizon or whatever, where you just get it. Well, that is enough of that monkey business. Let's get to a story order here, I think is what we're gonna do. You know, we've done that, although this has. Lack of engine power. Interesting. I don't think we have anything that could test any of that stuff. Re replace all filters. At least it lists the stuff. I really want to take this order. And we'll take a look. I like these ones where you got to figure out what is going on. So we're going to go ahead and move this to the lifter. There's also something I learned. We'll do one more of those jobs. So let's take a look at car status. So we have quite a few parts that we need to fix, um, but they might all be related to, well, yeah, we've done all this before. So ignition coils, those are bad. All four of those. And um, we're gonna take this stuff off. Yeah, we've, we've rinsed and repeat this. I don't think we really need to go through all this again so we'll be back to you guys in a moment okay like i said pretty standard normal thing that we've done quite a few times like a couple times so finish order i oh right drain oil 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 drain oil forgot about that part i wonder if we need to put a new filter on or not i bet you we can fix it let's fix let's fix it okay so we're gonna 
use equipment and then we're going to go ahead and pull out the filter i wonder if we can fix it let's go take a look there are no items to work with okay so we can't actually fix an oil filter but we're going to get a new one oil i mean i guess that makes sense i thought maybe they would let us but um you really you can't really fix it okay um move back place equipment back there we go all right mount the parts boom and then let's put this back down and put some oil in it and call it good all right one two three four five six seven Okay, let's see. Looks good. Looks almost spot on. There we do. All right, let's get let's get something something a little bit different. We have another a normal oil order. Repair all running gear faults. No list provided. Interesting. But it looks like it's suspension, so we could we probably have to take that one out. Oh, look at this thing. We oh no, it went away. There it is. Brake problems list provided we've worked on i don't think we've worked on that control car feeling repair all running gear faults let's um i want to take this one that we haven't worked on it looks like a old gosh like a pacer i don't maybe not and oh my goodness <laughs> all right Let's take a look at what we need to do. Brake caliper, brake shoe. So one of them we need to repair. Brake caliper, brake shoe. Let's jack this thing up. And let's see if we can see what it is. Now, actually, here. Uh, oops. Whoa. We can actually take a look at our orders here? Hold on. Oh, wow. You don't have to go over to the, to the phone. Interesting. Okay, so if we star this... I'm told that it outlines the part in blue on the car. So let's take a look around and see if we can figure out which one it is. Ooh, I'm not sure if we can see. Okay. Um, if we go into examine mode. Oh, up there. I could see it from here. Oh, and then back here too. Okay, so it's back here and up there. We got to take these off. Rim Retro 10. It's a retro rim. It's a run-tastic retro rim. All right, so it's the brake drop. Oh, no, here we go. Brake shoe. Yep. We'll take that one off. And we'll take this one off, too, and we'll go back. we got to buy the parts. So the one thing I do want to try here, and I haven't seen this yet. Okay, so if we were like, okay, this brake caliper is bad. So parts notes. Let's add it to the list. And then I think... I think that means it'll show up if we go into part shopping list. Brake caliper. Oh, cool. So then we can take a look and we, we don't have to remember. So brake caliper and then a brake shoe, I believe. Shoe. Yep, there we go. Ordered up. Well, that seems to be like the way to go because then you don't have to continually remember the, all the parts that you need. So that's pretty nice. A little bit of a pro tip for you guys there. Actually, somebody suggested that blue thing. I saw it before, but I didn't realize what it was from. It's from doing the star. I still kind of wish that if you hit the star, it would automatically put it in your shopping list. But I guess uh, that would be too easy for you. So this is the first time we worked on a brake drum, which are very different than disc brakes and very much not quite as powerful as disc brakes. And that's it. Boom, that one was easy. Finish order, boom. All right, well, let's take a look at what else we got here. Um, we still have this one, let's grab this one. I know I might be taking off more than I could chew. We haven't worked on this car yet, though. It looks like a little, like a Eclipse, like a Mitsubishi Eclipse. Let's see, what do we got? So we got, um, not orders, I want to look at car status. So we have a 
the outer and inner tie rod, and then we have a whole lot of running gear stuff. So maybe if we put it on the, we could, okay, so maybe, let's take it to the test track real quick. I wanna see if that would, oh, we can go to the junk, can we, ah, oh, man, I wanna go to other places. Let's go, let's go drive it. I wonder if my controller will work, hold on. Let's fire that thing up. It's connected. Now it's connected. Nope. Controller doesn't work, but look at this thing. Is space handbrake? I wonder if space is handbrake. Can we drift it? Yep, yep. Space is handbrake. Or handbrake is space. So, drift. It is a front wheel drive car. Well, if it is a Mitsubishi Eclipse, it is a front wheel drive car, but oh my goodness, we're off the track. Oh, are we gonna get airborne here? One of the other ones I got airborne. <laughs> I just wanna drift it. And a brake test. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Nailed it. All right, let's see if that gave us anything on the list to repair. Now, you could do it down the test path, and I believe that would do the same thing, suspension, brakes, and stuff. So this one is a little bit different. Yeah, there we go. So front spring, wheel hub bearing, inner tie rods. Okay, so we got some of the things, I believe. Okay, so we have some of the things. Oh my goodness, this one's actually going to be kind of difficult, which is awesome. Because, um, of course, I'm like, oh, I'll get this one done before the end of the episode. And then, bam, we're working on a bunch of stuff. So, outer tie rod, and then wheel hub bearing, and front spring. So, we need to pop this all the way up, and then we got to figure out which one's underneath. So, they say... They say controlling car feels loose. So it might be, it's probably a bunch of stuff like that. It's probably, yeah, a whole lot of stuff over here. So let's just take this whole thing off. I feel like we're going to probably figure out all the parts we need um, as we go. So let's take this brake caliper off. Because I think we need, well, I guess we don't need to, hold on. Let's add it to our parts list. Add to list. And this one probably. Let's examine it. I think. Okay, so it looks like probably just the spring on mount part. Front spring. Can we do parts notes on that? Front spring. So the shock absorber looks like it might be bad too, actually. Can we look at it? Oh wow, we have a whole lot of bad, we have a whole lot of stuff in here. Uh, no, I don't wanna sell it, but I bet you the, the shock absorber in there as well. So let's pull this thing off, inner tie rod. Oh wait, no, we need to take the outer tie rod thingy, inner tie rod thingy. We forgot to put the, that on there, okay. This all looks just terrible. So let's just take this all off here. Um, we need to take the brake pads off. We need to take that brake disc off. We Front wheel hub. Okay, we need to take the axle off. And I bet you this is our bad wheel bearing. That's, there you go. Take this wheel hub off, which might be bad too. Oh my goodness, we were taking this all apart. This looks terrible though. Okay, here we go, lower suspension arm. You know, the, the bad thing is you don't really know if it's bad until you take it off. So let's take a look at the car status. We figured out most of it. I bet you this is the last bit. Oh my goodness, which we gotta take the other side off. Really? Okay, let's take this tire off. 
Although I don't think we need to take the whole thing off. I think we can get away without taking it all apart. If we take this off. Oh wait, no, we didn't need to take that off. Shoot. Um, let's put it back on just so we don't forget it. And actually, I don't think we needed to... Okay, nope. Uh, unmart, unmount. We're going to take this outer tie rod off. And the inner tie rod. And the steering rack. Okay, so we have all of our parts. I'm almost certain of it. Car status. Outer tie rod, inner tie rod. And then we have to buy all of this stuff. Outer tie rod, inner tie rod. So... Uh, let's go tie rod. We have some stuff in our shopping list. Inner tie rod, one. Outer tie rod, one. Sway bar front end link, A. There we go. Uh, steering rack, I know that was one of them. Steering, steering rack, there we go. Now, now we're getting on to, oh, nope car status okay so wheel hub bearing do we have just one one wheel hub bearing two rubber bushings oh and then we have this we need to take this thing apart uh separate parts yes all right we just need to go down the list wheel hub bearing front wheel hub wheel hub bearing front wheel hub wheel hub bearing front wheel hub okay you know what i might actually just write this all down i'll be back once i get it all bought up here okay so i have all of the parts so we need to put we need to take this parts and we need to join parts front shock absorber front spring and that looks good and put it all together that looks wrong a little bit off looked better before i don't recall that so we have those parts and the only concern I have here is I don't remember removing any rubber bushings. Oh, I think they were in... Okay, never mind. I think they were in the... Hold on. Let's take a look. Okay, nope, that's good. I think they were part of that lower steering arm, so we're going to put the steering rack on. We're going to start on this side since there's less to put back together. Outer tie rod. And then, yeah, that's it. So just the rim, bam. Now we go to the back other side, which we completely took apart in order to figure out what's wrong. Although I did like that we had to take it out on the track to make sure we got everything, which is really cool. That definitely sped up this whole process. So mounting the parts, putting that on there. Let's put the steering knuckle on there. And the outer tie rod, bam. And then we got to put the spring on. Boom. Almost got it here. Lower suspension arm, new rubber bushings. There we go. Like I, I didn't recall taking them out, so I was a little worried about that. All right, so then what do we need to do next? We need to pound, mount parts. We need to put this sway bar end link on. You know, we got to go through and sell all of our old parts. I suppose we could have tried repairing some of this stuff. We didn't even look. I bet you we should do that for the next one. Because I bet you we can save some money. And we need to make some money so that we can build our project car. Because that would be awesome. We'll put the brake caliper on. Oh, there we go. Then we got to put a wheel hub bearing in you know it said two wheel hub bearings i wonder if the other side we missed the other side let's put this on maybe we missed one part Ooh, i'm wondering i'm thinking we did let's take a look car status uh nope we're all good bam there's some money so we got quite a bit done. Um, we're really close to leveling up again. We do, oh, actually, no, we have another skill point that we have not spent yet. I'm wondering, oh, here we go, level two. Nice. 
faster. Well, we're doing that one, obviously. Okay, so this is a tough choice because these testers could be helpful. We could, because then we could test electronics, and I just imagine we're going to need this soon. I almost, I almost don't want. Here, let if we reset the point. So we're going to do this one, unlock. This one, yes. Uh, and then we'll do, okay, that one's already unlocked. So then, yes, tablet. We want that. And then we want the faster unscrewing. The only thing I didn't want anymore is that because it didn't seem like we use it. So let's, let's give that one a go. And then uh, maybe that will help us on our next episode. So that is going to wrap it all up. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I wish I could turn the camera around. This is Cos. Remind you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless.